Hi students, I wanted to show you an example problem so that you could um, see how one of these is done and you can do these for yourself on the homework. So this one is going to be a, um, a source-free series RLC circuit. So um, over here we might have some step voltage that went to zero or more likely we had a switch that switched away um, the power source and we're just left with a source-free circuit. So I'm going to put some values in here to work with. Let's let that be a 10 ohm resistor, a 5 Henry inductor, and suppose this is a 2 microfarad capacitor. And um, let's say we are asked, here's the example, to find alpha, omega naught, S1, and S2. And we're asked what type of natural response will the circuit have. Okay, so if you remember, natural response is um, the response when we turn off a source. So if this is our source and then suddenly it goes to zero, so we have zero voltage and zero current, there's going to be some response of our circuit that's going to be some sort of a decay. And we have some different cases. We actually have three different cases of what type of natural response we can have here. And that will depend on our values of R, L, and C. So um, just to kind of refresh your memory, the um, equation for our solutions for this is going to be in the form I of T is A1E to the S1T plus A2e to the S2t, and we can use initial conditions to find these coefficients here. But these solutions here, the ex exponential um, constant being multiplied by our t, this is what we're going to um, try to find. We're asked to find S1 and S2. Okay, great. So um, to find S1 and S2, our formula is negative alpha plus or minus the square root of alpha squared minus omega naught squared. Okay, so we have two solutions here because of this plus or minus. So this will give us S1 and S2. But then the definition of alpha, if you recall, is R over 2L. Um, and the definition of omega naught is 1 over root LC. Okay, so for this particular example, the first thing we do when we sit down to a problem like this is we should compute alpha and omega naught. Because once we have those, we'll be able to figure out what type of natural response this circuit's going to have. So um, if I put in the values here, my resistor is 10 ohms over two times five henrys. This gives me an alpha of 10 over 10 or one. Then if I do the same thing here for omega naught, this is gonna be one over the square root of five times 0 0.002. So this gives me 10 is my omega naught. So um, depending on how, which one is bigger basically, if alpha is bigger, then that means that this quantity will be larger than this one and will has, have a positive underneath the radical. If omega naught is bigger, that means that we will have um, the negative quantity is bigger underneath the radical, so we'll have um, a complex result. If they're equal to each other, then we'll have two repeated roots because we'll have a zero underneath the radical and we'll have negative alpha plus zero and negative alpha minus zero. So those um, are what mathematically define our three dampening cases, and that's the type of natural response the circuit will have. But in this particular case, we have that alpha is less than omega naught. So um, when we go to solve this equation here, our S, S1 and S2 is going to be negative one plus or minus the square root of alpha one squared minus 10 squared, so this will be negative one plus or minus the square root of negative 99. Okay, so then um, this, if you remember your complex numbers, this is, we're going to break up into negative one times positive 99, 
And the square root of negative 1 is defined as i, but since we're engineers, we get to use j because we reserve i for current. So this is going to become negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 99. So this will simplify to negative 1 plus or minus j, what we use instead of square root of negative 1. And this is going to be 3 times the square root of 11. So we have our two answers for our exponential coefficients. We have negative 1 plus 3j root 11, and we have s2 is negative 1 minus 3j root 11. Okay, great. So then those are our s1, our s2. We have alpha, we have omega naught, and then the last thing we have to answer is what type of response will the circuit have? Well, since alpha is less than omega naught, this will be the underdamped case. Underdamped natural response. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions about hand, how to handle a problem like that, given some um, values for a simple series RLC, RLC circuit with no source.